am dr murli mohan neurosurgeon and head of neurosciences sagar hospitals bangalore i would like to speak about a rare genetic disorder affecting children and young adults spinal muscular atrophy a form of motor neuron disease this disorder is a form of slow death where the kids lose their ability of walking standing eating and even breathing at later stages of life from this debilitating disorder a lot of parents in their country suffer it's estimated that around 3 lakh patients suffer in our country based on the recent statistics cure is available in the form of gene therapy which would cost close to 14 crores 2 million us dollars an alternative drug spindraza is available which would again cost around 5 crore in the first year and 2 crores thereafter every year for life these medications are beyond the reach of financial reach of any individual in our country i would like to introduce dr ann agnes a pediatric neurologist specializing in neuromuscular disorders and epilepsy sagar hospitals she with her struggle and effort over last couple of years with ordi the organization for rare diseases in india have managed to associate with an us based ngo to make this treatment available for eligible patients in our country for free for life i would like to thank ann and her team for this yeoman service more to ann thank you dr murli for the kind introduction spinal muscular atrophy as dr murli mentioned is quite a devastating disease more so because it is very slow the type 1s are are very tragic and we don't often get to see those children because they die very early the type 2 and type 3 uh, affected people and children and the family struggle as dr murli mentioned the magnitude of the problem is is quite big especially for a country like ours we have an estimate but the estimate is not real because again this is from western data and we are in many parts of the country a society with a lot of consanguinity a lot of intermarrying which makes it more likely that we have more children who are affected by this disease so with regards to the facts and figures there are multiple issues with these children they have walking difficulties many of them are in wheelchair many of them have weakness if their legs are weak they are unable to stand if their trunk body is weak then there is problems with sitting unsupported there is problem with breathing and this is this doesn't happen suddenly it's a slowly creeping up thing so often in the face of an absence of hope uh, what is perceived as an absence of hope multidisciplinary care common standards of care which is known in our world as soc standards of care are not often practiced they are not very expensive but they are quite labor intensive they need tertiary and quaternary care centers and it is difficult in a country as geographically vast as ours for people especially children and families affected with diseases which affect their mobility to transport so what is the answer to this we have premier institutions in the country which does great service but we need more and this was an example of a public private collaboration with a lot of support from parent support groups ordi the organization for rare diseases india has encouraged us to a large extent uh, in in i trained in the uk and where i trained this was all there everything was in place we treated it was so seamless for a smaller number of patients and i dreamt that one day we would have it in india but then there is a big mismatch of what is possible with cost even uh, even with regards to cost of care so this is where i thank sagar hospitals for the platform that they've provided me and in allowing me to look beyond the hospital boundaries they've allowed me to work and collaborate with baptist hospital which is a charitable organization and between the two of them we've created a team with again support from ordi with parents supporting in as well and volunteers from the team of ordi to have a neuromuscular service for children affected with these diseases so we have been doing this for a couple of years now and specifically as an entity been functioning for a year and now this opportunity has turned up where uh, thanks to the us based ngo direct relief we have been able to give 30 families in the first instance they've promised 30 30 families or so roughly so this treatment for life as they chose as and when they are chosen depending on their eligibility 
Now for this understandably desperate um, families with, with some hope at last are traveling from long distances because as a piloting project the, the NGO had decided to go with four cities. Ames is covering the north, north, northern part of the country, then we have SDPGI, Lucknow, KEM, Mumbai and in the southern, for the southern states we have been chosen. So we are unlike the others in the sense that we are in the, in the private sector. So we had to make it work. But this is where I feel proud to be part of this because this is greater than one individual or one doctor. So what has happened here is today when we conducted the camps, when there are, we are expecting large numbers of patients turning up, one doctor, it is very difficult for them to assess these children. It takes hours and hours to assess them. Multiple doctors across organizational boundaries have volunteered their time and they have come across. The, other than the logistical cost of it, we've tried to keep the cost at a minimum of assessments and have worked between two institutions. So we feel proud of the collaboration more than anything else and being able to show the parent community and the affected community that together we can do something. From a parent's perspective, this is hope. From a clinician's perspective, a clinician who's interested in this condition, I feel more hope rather than just the Spindraza. Yes, as Dr. Murali said, this is a very expensive drug. But for that, we have to be ready. We are an emerging economy, so we need to have ingenious solutions to these problems, which are of great magnitude. At the moment, the whole world is looking at us, and we can show them that we can make different solutions. For this, one of the things is coming together and making research ourselves with collaboration. So hopefully, this will happen. And this is for us, this is an opportunity of health education to engage with the families and also tell them about the standards of care and even give some hope for those who come. So this is almost like a lottery. If each, if 30, it's a random number, 30. If 30 is chosen and it is divided between four centers, there will still be a large number of patients from each center, majority of them, who never get this medicine in the first go. Although the company has promised that they would give more. But still, this is a point of health education where we can engage with them and say, even without Spindraza, we can still, while waiting for it, make their life better, which is what is done in Western countries. Children live longer, and SMA kids are amazing kids. They are very intelligent, very talented, and their voices should be heard, and their services are they're an asset to the country. Hopefully, together, we can make a difference. For now, we have opened our doors on this, starting yesterday, from the 16th, 17th, and 18th, but we envisage that this is not going to be sufficient. But we would need to have conduct more camps, more such camps, um, both mostly in Sagar and, and in Baptist as well, wherein we would need help for making it a streamlined process, otherwise there would be chaos and we wouldn't be able to serve, serve people appropriately. So ODI Helpline will help with this. Thank you. Uh, my name is Shihab. I have a treatment for my second child. It was a camp, a SMA patient. वो मेरे को सागर हॉस्पिटल है ना उसका एक ऑफिसर को नंबर मिल गया मेरे को पवित्रा नाम का इसलिए मैं इधर आया था कैंप पे पूरा मेरे को अच्छा लग रहा है पूरा मेशरमेंट तो ज्यादा होते हैं और मेरा बच्चे को एक साल से ये स्टार्ट हो गया था ऐसे में क्या था वो चल नहीं पाता था और वो स्टैंड भी नहीं था वो सब मेरे केरला का हॉस्पिटल से कंफर्म कर दिया था अमरदा हॉस्पिटल से और अभी बैंगलोर पे एक कैंप तो मेरे को अच्छा अच्छा लग रहा है मैं राजू कुदिशा मध्य प्रदेश भोपाल के पास विदिशा शहर का रहने वाला हूँ मेरे को व्हाट्सएप के थ्रू ये जानकारी मिली कि पूरे हिंदुस्तान में एसएमए पेशेंट्स के लिए ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ रेयर डिसीज ने चार सेंटर दोने जो है फिक्स करे हैं जाके बच्चों का फ्री एसएमए टेस्ट होना है जब हमको हमने पहले बॉम्बे अपन में बॉम्बे मुंबई हॉस्पिटल में अपॉइंटमेंट लिया वहाँ जाके ये मालूम पड़ा कि नहीं आपके बच्चे का नहीं यहाँ पर जो टेस्ट नहीं होगा बारह साल के बच्चे तक का बच्चे होगा बारह साल के बच्चों के आगे वो हम यहाँ ट्रीट नहीं करेंगे तो उसके बाद दूसरा वर्ड से हमारे पास ये आया कि एक बेंगलोर में भी दो सेंटर रहेंगे उनमें से एक सागर हॉस्पिटल है वहाँ आपका जो है बच्चे का टेस्ट आपका यहाँ हो सकता है तब हमने सागर हॉस्पिटल पे हेल्पलाइन के थ्रू फोन पे कांटेक्ट करा उन्होंने हमारा रजिस्ट्रेशन करा रजिस्ट्रेशन करने के बाद हमने उनको ये बताया कि हम जैसे मेरा बच्चा सत्रह साल का है कोई उसको दिक्कत तो नहीं यहाँ पर लाने के बाद ऐसा तो नहीं मना कर देंगे तो उन्होंने बोला नहीं आप लेके आइए हम उसका टेस्ट करेंगे हम यहाँ पर सत्रह तारीख को सुबह साढ़े बजे आए हमारा रजिस्ट्रेशन हुआ रजिस्ट्रेशन होने के बाद जो है पूरे टेस्ट वगैरह जो है सिस्टमेटिक 
यहाँ पर हो रहे हैं मेरे मैं इससे खुश हूँ ये अच्छा काम किया जा रहा है और आगे ट्रीटमेंट मिले हम ये उम्मीद कर रहे हैं कि जल्दी से जल्दी बच्चे हमारे को ट्रीटमेंट मिले और वो हेल्दी होकर वॉक कर सकें